We crown a champion tonight here at Levi's Stadium in Santa Clara for the college football playoff national championship game. As we'll see the Oregon Ducks taking on the Seminoles of Florida State. One game to decide it all. It's the College Football Playoff National Championship, and off we go from Levi's Stadium. That's fielded in the end zone, and no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. on the pickup there and it'll leave him with a second and three. And Charles, the success that this quarterback had in the semifinal, how does it translate here? Well, it certainly helps his mindset because he has to have a lot of confidence going into this one since he did it so well in the semifinals. I do think we'll see a similar kind of offense. Nowhere to escape and he goes down. And we say it all the time, have to be able to get rid of the ball sooner than that. You have to help your offensive line out. They're going to protect you as best they can. And if you get three to five seconds to throw the ball, they're doing a really nice job. But when you hold it and give up a sack, you're really almost discrediting their work. And they'll take him down at the 31-yard line. A solid run of 11 there as he tucked it and ran, but he's still short of the marker at its fourth. And how about this one now? In their own territory, a gutsy call. They're going to go for this on fourth and a yard. I liked his effort there. He got it done on his own. But let's face it, he puts defenses in a really stressful spot when he takes off and runs because a lot of guys have coverage responsibilities. Good job of rallying, though, because I thought when he first took off, he might pick up the first down. A big roll of the dice on fourth and one, but it pays off. They convert. First and ten now, Florida State. On play action, they'll throw. about players blitzing all the time. I often laugh and sometimes call it just straight ahead pursuit. What a running start right back to the backfield for him. Yeah, it really didn't give anybody a chance to get up there and stop it. No, I mean, that's really, really difficult. You're asking a whole lot anyway, but when he gets that kind of a start and comes through clean, oftentimes the advantage definitely goes to the defensive player. We saw these two work pretty well together in the semifinal in Dallas, and now the first catch here for Isaiah Streets in the national championship game. And look, these two, they know each other. They've been friends, even though they may not have been playing together out on the field in live action on Saturdays, but they do have a lot of practice reps together. They spent a ton of time this last week after practice trying to get that chemistry better. And what Isaiah Streets told him, hey, just get it in my catch radius, I'll do the rest. On is the punt team now as this one sent away. And yeah, that is much too long. That's into the end zone for a touchback. The Seminole offense about ready to get going again. They'll be looking to match that touchdown from a moment ago. 7-0 is the score as they begin with a first down. A pass there over the middle to start things out. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 15 yards is the pick up there on the drive, starting very nicely. First down. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. You can see the time and effort and thought that they put into their passing game because it was evident right there. It looks like a simple pitch and catch, but you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. A good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. On first down, Cox. And very little there. He might have gotten a yard. Yeah, I think he got a yard to the 41. For Florida State, they're seeking their fourth national championship. They were winners back in 1993, also in 99, and then most recently back in 2013. Second and nine now. 
Right over the middle by Graham. And he's going to get this down near the 30-yard line. 11 yards there, first down. So first and 10 now from the 30. They'll run now with Will Hoyt. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. No gain on the play there, second down. Nice job there defensively to clamp down because really they've been on their heels this run. Agreed, and they really needed that one for confidence, just to feel a little bit better. But I don't know if I would be daunted by them stopping me on one run. This drive has gone pretty well. I could come right back at them. Now that's a play that Isaiah Streets made time after time this fall on Saturday afternoon. And you got to think as this championship game continues to unfold, they have to find some way to slow him down. Double team, just anything to disrupt him because he has a knack for getting open and making big plays. That will go as a pickup of seven on the seventh play of the drive. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. Now a second down throw for the end zone, but it's incomplete. The one thing that I've liked defensively is that they've shown them a lot of different looks here in the first half. They've come after them, they've sat back. I think that's what you need to do to keep an offense guessing. And they certainly have kept him on their toes. That's why. And oh, it'll be intercepted. Good positioning, and it's picked off. Brandon, this. Here's the Florida State offense ready to begin their next drive. Already down two touchdowns here in the first half. This becomes a pretty important drive, doesn't it? It certainly does, and a lot of teams quit close. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Well, someone's been up to the task so far in this game. They are already up a couple scores, Brandon, and guess what? I think they're just going to pin their ears back now and get up field, get after the quarterback. Been such an impressive first half to get that lead. And oh, he's going to be brought down by the face mask. Here come the flags. This is going to get him a first down. Defense. Well, we looked at each other right away. We knew that flag was coming out. And I always enjoy the conversation post because officials always tell you, I don't want to throw the flag, but you caused the play. You did it. I had to. Looking left side, and he's got a man. It's Alexander. Now the... The offense going to use the first of their timeouts as it'll come with 15 seconds to play in the first half. The Seminoles here with a first and 10. They'll look to throw here. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. Second and 14. Flush to his right. There he goes inside the 30. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. So with one second left in the half, on is the field goal unit. From the right hatch, it's a 46-yard attempt. And this one is right down Broadway. And that will do it for this first half. Take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Quick slant caught by Streets. And he'll have this past the 30 prior to going out of bounds. That'll go as a pickup of 32 on the catch and run. If you were with us for the semifinal, we told the story. I mean, this is a quarterback who was heavily recruited out of high school four years ago. On signing day, had all the hats in front of him. People weren't sure where he was going to go. So many different offers wound up here. And it hasn't been the script he probably would have written. But what a storybook ending this could turn out to be if they can take care of business in this title bout. The goal of a wide receiver screen is get enough blockers in front to create a wall and let him pick his spot to run the football. Pressure from his right, and he goes down hard, flat on his back. But that takes a start to have a good drive. Quite like a big loss on a sack, does it? Now, now they're looking at a third and long, and suddenly the momentum shifted to the other side of the football. And Old Marty is a very, very fickle man. Over the middle, complete. It's Grant. And he'll be brought down with the first down and a late flag here, too. He may get a few more tacked on for good measure. So they'll take the yardage and tack on 15 more for the face mask. 
Talk about a play that absolutely costs you in the end. Just trying to do your job, right? Trying to get him on the ground. Next thing you know, they march up another 15 against your squad. And that'll be incomplete. Offense. We do have a penalty flag down, however. Let's see what that's about. It's a loss of 11 on the play. But it'll be second down. Out of the gun. They'll look to throw. And he's going to go down. Back near midfield at the 49. Man, he got in there so quickly, Charles. What could the offense have done to adjust and account for that? But what you're hoping is that you figure it out and you see and get a clue that maybe there's going to be some pressure coming at you. You change the blocking schemes. Maybe you go to max protection. The biggest one's maybe bring your running back in to try and keep you clean. But in that case, that didn't happen. Zero accountability and a sack resulted. They'll run on first down. It's Cox, and they'll bring him down at the 13-yard line. Ten yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. But I remember a coaching friend of mine used to tell his running backs before games, make sure you run and jog with your offensive line in pregame. He'll be hit and taken down at the 21. We had the right down and the definite distance to take a shot downfield. But it didn't work out the way that they had envisioned. No, that's a situation where if, if you take a sack close to the line of scrimmage, it's not that bad, but a loss like that, you can't. And he will score. Touchdown, Florida State. A 20-yard into his left. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. And no matter what the situation, the O-line just hates that because they feel like they didn't protect little brother back there, right? And that's just so difficult for them because just think about every single play. When you decide to throw the football, you're dealing with some of the best athletes on the planet. You're talking about guys that they weren't playing football, they'd be starring in the NBA at power forward. It's really a difficult task. He'll look to throw. It's complete to Grant. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. They pick up 11 in addition to moving the chains. Clock management, definitely critical here if they want to get back in this game. Absolutely agree. They have to up the tempo in this case, down a couple of scores. But make nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Boy, he came in off the edge so quickly there. Look out, because that's exactly what it was being shouted by the offensive lineman to his quarterback because he had no chance to block him. Escaping the pressure right. On the run, he'll let it go deep, right sideline. And that'll be incomplete. Good protection that time, and they couldn't hook up on the long one. Now it's third down. This defense was definitely alert to the possibility of the deep ball, and they were more than ready for it. They've got the lead, fourth quarter. Maybe can expect more passes like that downfield. An excellent pickup of 20 yards. Gotta love the catch. I think you gotta love the gloves as well. <laughs> yeah, these one-handed catches, that was great. And they're fun. They become a little more ho-hum right there. Yeah, they really are. And I know that it sounds like we're taking credit away from the guys, and we don't mean that at all. They really work hard on this one-handed catch thing. But I think the gloves have to be helping in a big way. Well, when you're leading in the fourth quarter, that's not the penalty you want. Not at all, and now your discipline comes into question. Having poise this stage of the game, you can't have those kind of plays. Now a nice play defensively on first down as this is knocked away and incomplete. And that's what he's got to be happy to have back. There wasn't a hole open in the zone. You have to think on early downs like that first down there. That's caught. Touchdown, Florida State. From 13. So the Seminoles face the prospect of a long and silent flight home to the East Coast. Their dreams of a national title dashed here on the Levi Stadium turf as they fall in this national championship game. Difficult loss to, uh, in my opinion, to short career. Tell me, how you holding up? 
I don't really know what you want me to say here. I, I guess I, I had this one shot. I let myself and my teammates down. Listen, there's some good talk out there, all right? Keep your head up, nail it at the combine, and then this won't be your last game, okay? You're right. All right, get out of here. Thanks, Dale. You got it. Yeah, you're right. Right. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, he, he, he's right here. Okay, hang on. Hello? Hey, it's, it's Emily's dad. Look, I, I know that you got a lot on your plate right now, so I don't want to take up too much of your time. I just, I just wanted to let you know Emily's out of the surgery and she is doing great, but she had to sleep through the game, so. It's probably for the best. Thank you so much, by the way. It, in her, you have really made a fan for life. Thank you. Emily's an amazing person. Just please keep in touch. Let us know how she's doing. I will. Okay. Thanks. Take care. Football season's wrapped up, and the draft is two months away. Today, we kick off the NFL Scouting Combine. Over the next seven days, more than 300 college prospects will run, jump, catch, and throw for NFL coaches and scouts. Schrager, who's your player to watch? I love the story of the backup quarterback who just came off the bench to lead his team to the national championship game. Okay. We've never known less about an NFL prospect. Well, Peter, we do know that he did lose the national championship game. Hashtag matters. <laughs> Fair point, but in that game, you also saw his NFL caliber arm, Kyle, no doubt. He's got a hose, but every NFL quarterback going into this draft has an NFL caliber arm. I I'm just saying, if I'm a GM, I'm not gonna just take some flyer on a kid who played in two games. I'm not doing it. Come on, Debbie Downer, listen, I I'm with you, but we saw some good things in those two games. We saw good fundamentals. We saw good instincts. If he blows up the combine, mm. he'll go in the fourth round, fifth at the latest. Guess we'll find out soon. Yep. Yes, I hear you, and I've been hearing you for the last 15 minutes. I'm on top of it. How many times do you need to... Yes, I'm on top of it. I'm meeting with... I've got a few other guys to meet this week, and then... I know that there's a time restraint. I understand that. Thanks for taking the time to meet me. Yes. Well, I, I know what he wants. I understand what he wants. He's told me what he wants. You don't have to tell me what he wants as well, okay? Just... Can you hold on for a second? Okay, but Thank you. No, just time. be quiet. I take any of the other top quarterbacks available, and I get praise, and I get to keep my job. Hmm? I pick you, a player that barely even picked up a ball in college, and then I I'm nuts. And the seat that I've got to sit on gets red hot. So why don't you tell me why you should even be on my radar? Growing up? I never lost a game I started. Pee Wee through high school. I have the talent. And more importantly, I hate to lose. I can showcase that in the NFL. You pick me, you can make a lot of other teams sorry. Hey, I'm gonna have to call you back. Call back yes, I'll have to call you back. Hey, I love you. I love you too, Dad. Bye. Are you for real? You know, you and I have a mutual friend, Mr. Jack Ford. He and I served on the same staff in St. Louis. What do you think he would have to say about your ability to uh, lead a locker room? Navigating a locker room can be tricky. I do my best. I try to find a balance between being the locker room guy and then the guy that the coaches can rely on to get the team bought in. But it's hard. You know, Jack had some concerns about your leadership. 
but I'm not seeing that. Little inside scoop, uh, the owner wants someone with the measurables. So you go out there and you impress. You'll be on our radar. I can do that. Don't let me down. Thank you. Hand over your phone. I want to check your internet history. You want me to give you my phone? Is that just like normal procedure? You bet it is. You just give anyone your phone? If someone asked for your playbook, would you give them that too? No, what? What? You have something to hide? Look, son, this interview's about transparency. I think I'm being quite transparent. Not transparent enough. You're on a mountain in Alaska on a bus going 100 miles an hour. Where are you sitting on the bus? Bus in Alaska. I go front of the bus. Not middle? Nope. Have you looked at the engine before you even got into the bus? Uh... Did you check the tire pressure? I hired a professional mechanic to inspect every part of the bus, as he is more qualified than me. And I am aware of my strengths and weaknesses. Are you being cute with me, son? No. You're not. Now give me a serious answer. Would you be in the front of the bus, the middle of the bus, or the back of the bus, or the passenger side of the bus? I already answered the front of the bus. Why? Because if I can see where we're going, I can make sure we're okay. Is that the wrong answer? Funny how many eyes are on us right now, huh? Breaking us down, picking us apart. Every mistake amplified. But we got it though, right? At least I know I do. Hey, um, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm looking for your agent. I don't have an agent. Didn't have an agent. Less more, congratulations. For what? For getting an agent. Me, boom. I don't think... Have I met you before? You're about to know me. Quarterbacks, group four. Looks like you have to throw, kid. Go get him. Or should I say, go get him, client? <laughs> you, uh... No, I'm good, man, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's good. Got a lot of people already. Full roster. Two full. Get it! 
New York fans were very vocal about you this week on social media. How would you feel about playing for the Giants? Well, I'm flattered by their interest, but honestly, I just want a shot. If they give me a chance, I'll be ready to work. Totally understand. What do you feel is your biggest strength as an NFL quarterback? Well, I've worked with the legendary Jack Ford, so reading a defense is in my DNA. What do you say to the critics that think you aren't ready to play in the NFL? Have any of these critics ever played football? <laughs> Honestly, I don't care what they say. It's all white noise to me. All that really matters is what those NFL teams think, guys. I just, let's say this all doesn't work out for you. What's your plan B? No plan B for me. It's mm. a great answer. It's very yeah. smart. Thank you. Bavarian chocolate cake. Nice twist. That's my client. Uh, let it. Um, let, let it go to voicemail. Build some anticipation. But, but if you answer it. You'll show that the teams can count on you. So, uh, so? Uh, answer it, answer it, answer it. Hello? Sorry, sir, we regret to. Yeah. What? What? What was. You're, uh. You're not getting an invite to the draft. Which is a good thing. I mean, just ask Brady, right? Hey, how's this? I know a tailor. And he can make it feel like you're there. Uh, uh. What's your vibe? I don't really have a vibe. She got like a suit? Suit? Huh, ma'am? You like a man in a nice suit? Him? Yeah. Yeah. Huh? Stamp of approval. First class stamp of approval for somebody who's not getting invited to the draft. I don't even have a suit. Pro Bowl noise with picks like this. Daniel, just a quick thought before we send things to the stage over there. Some interesting quarterbacks, Ryan Finley, Jared Stidham, Clayton Thorson from Northwestern. I'm anxious to see where they go today. Those are the quarterbacks that are at the top of your draft. And as you can see, most of any school on day number three, and that is a draft nugget. We're just dropping draft nuggets. He throws the best ball of anybody in Couldn't have done better at the combine. You know, I didn't ask you to be my agent. Well, Maybe I shouldn't have been. I had people lining up wanting me to represent them. No, you didn't, actually. I don't even know if you're accredited, man. <laughs> Put her on speaker. Hello? Hey, this is Pat Shermer, head coach of the New York Giants. We've had our eye on you for a while, and we're making the newest member of the Giants. Be ready to compete. 
We will be. Who was that? No one. Don't don't worry about it. Thank you so much, sir. I will be there. I'll be ready to go. Thank you. Oh yes. Let's get some grilled cheese. Let's start at the top with the Giants. Draft winners or draft losers? I'm going with winners, Kay. They drafted for athleticism and upside. They got a whole bunch of guys with a ton of it. What do you think about that fourth round pick, the quarterback? Well, he has the potential to be the second or third best quarterback in this draft. I mean, can he come in right away and make plays right now? Probably not, but soon though. Do you think he'll start any games this season? Yeah, probably. I mean, he showed flashes in the playoffs, in the combine, and he has a talent that can go out there and lead this team. That's why we love Nate. Very optimistic. Everybody's going to Canton, but no, no, hold on, Nate. You're right. Late in the season, season's out of reach. I think they'll give him a chance to uh, test the waters, right? Late in the season, man. You know how this game goes? It's going to be sooner than that. And I bet they'll be pleasantly surprised. So where are we headed? Oh, is it on the app? That you? Yeah. <laughs> you know, I wasn't gonna say anything because I'm a professional. But for what it's worth, I think you are the guy that's gonna turn things around here for our quarterback situation. And I played a little juco ball myself. That's cool, man. That's cool. Had the coach in here last week, and I was not impressed at all. I do a little JV coaching in my spare time, so I'm really good feel about the game. Oh, she told him one of my plays. He could have used it this someday. Mm. You know, I actually haven't even met him yet. It's Pat Shermer. Supposed to be some X's and O's guy. I, I don't know. The last few years around here has been a mess. Odell Beckham was the only thing we've done right. And then we go and trade him to the Browns. Can you believe it? <sighs> At least you have Saquon Barkley lining up behind you, and he is a beast. I get why they drafted more than one quarterback, but I watched you in the college playoff, and you got that New York chip on your shoulder. Thanks. Uh, I'll pass it along. I'm not really sure how much they'll listen to me, though. I'm just a rookie. Had Chris Pratt in here last week. Good-looking guy. But I think if he fights a Raptor, the Raptor's gonna win. That's just me. That's just me. I don't care how many names he calls me. In fact, I, I actually did some, I do some archaeology on the side. And I found a T-Rex bone in Missouri once. I think it was a T-Rex bone. I was like, look at, whoa! <laughs> Sorry about that. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, actually, I think you just dropped me off right up here, man. Oh, yeah, sure. Just right up front, thank you. This is the start of something beautiful, kid. And in this city, if you need anything, if you need alpacas, if you need emus, any type of livestock, home loan, or warranty, you call me. You're the guy. If you... Think we'll call. This game, it's about legacy, kid. Achievement. Exceeding expectations. Your college accolades, they're in the past. Your draft status, just a number. But your legacy, you start building that today. It's about the way you interact with teammates, coaches, opponents. It's about fearlessness, week in, week out. Overcoming the onslaught of the league's top defenders. Demonstrating leadership in everything you do. From how you play to what you wear. It's about laying a strong foundation in your rookie season. Becoming the quarterback I always knew you were. But first, right now, it's about winning the starting job. Good luck out there, kid. Start your week by installing your game plan.